What's going on guys, it's the Cowboy King of Entertainment back with another video and today I'm going to cover the Xbox Showcase. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm lazy, obviously I had surgery on my arm, you guys have been watching the channel, you already know about it, um, so I'm just laying in the bed, I'm going to watch this, I'm going to make a comment on every game I see and um but i'm not going to the cowboy entertainment studio i'm just chilling so with that being said stay tuned for my thoughts on the 2023 xbox showcase now before i say that personally i would love to see gameplay of hellblade now i went to the movies i seen the new transformers movies i came back home i don't barely know anything that happened besides i think they revealed a new xbox that's uh, 349, Xbox Series S with one terabyte, something like that. Um, I heard a couple games mentioned, but I really don't know much. So I'm going into this semi-blind, so let's see. All right, so to kick the showcase off, they showed Fable. Um, I thought that was pretty cool, but honestly, at this point in time, it would be cool to get gameplay but at the end of the day, at least you know Xbox is officially working on Fable. It's not just a back door. Oh, we're working on Fable. So that was pretty cool. So I got to say, that was pretty cool. All right, the next game was South of Midnight. And uh, I don't know what type of game it is because there was no gameplay. But the visuals was cool for the little CGI trailer with the girl trying to find out where's a monster. And this giant dude playing the guitar looking like he was made out of a tree or something but uh yeah it'd be nice to know what type of game it is all right so star wars outlaws um it looks cool i think if you're a star wars fan i'm not it didn't do anything for me especially because it didn't show gameplay at all so but it comes out in 2024 all right, I can't say much about 33 Immortals. It's not really my type of thing, uh, but I think what's cool is you can have up to 33 people playing at the same time. So honestly, it might be pretty fun, and it comes out in 2024. So Payday 3 is the best looking game I've seen so far because they actually showed gameplay, and it's a renowned, loved game. Um, you know, I got good gameplay where you're pretty much trying to rob banks and the cops trying to stop you. And they also showed a date as September 21st. All right, so Persona 3 Reload, uh, they showed some actual gameplay. So that was cool. People get to see uh, what the gameplay looked like. I know it's a uh, cult following. People love that game. I never played any of them. Has no interest at all. Have I ever? But uh, I think it's cool, man. So, yeah. So, just like Persona 3 Reload, Avowed is going to be early 2024. Um, I always feel like games like this is a missed opportunity and it should be third person. But it might be cool. Uh, the, the, the gameplay looks a little cheesy. Like, when you hit people, it looks like it doesn't really hit, like, has that impact. But um, it might be a fun game. All right, so they have Sea of Thieves, The Legend of Monkey Island. I think that's pretty cool for fans of Monkey Island, fans of Sea of Thieves. Uh, personally, I've never been a fan of either. Uh, but, man, I like it when people get to get what they want. So, good stuff. Oh, and it's coming out on July 20th. All right, Microsoft Flight Simulator coming 2024. Uh, this looks kind of cool because I always gave it a lot of hell saying it's just a simulator. But guess what? Now you could do a multiple amount of things with the graphics and from dogfights, which they should have actually showed that. But um, yeah, you could rescue people. It looks actually pretty cool and like it'll give you a lot of things to do. Okay, I guess that's cool. On November 3rd, they're going to have one of the vehicles from Dune in Flight Simulator. Cool. All right, so personally, I don't want to be a part of the console war nonsense, but any of the Xbox fans that like what they just seen with Hellblade 2, you always say that Sony is only the story-driven long cutscenes, and that's all we've seen was the story-driven long cutscenes. Um, the game I wanted to see the most was Hellblade 2, but I'm actually a little upset because they didn't show gameplay. Um, but it says it comes out in 2024. I don't understand any of these trailers. Like, they literally show, like, the dumbest part of the game. 
So like a dragon, something about wealth, the guy just walking around naked. Like, no gameplay, no story. This is why already the Summer Game Fest was way better than the PlayStation Showcase and way better than this showcase. Because they showed so many games and they showed actual gameplay. Alright, so Fallout 76, Atlantic City is coming to Game Pass soon and they really barely show anything. Um, but I got a cool little tune. All right, so Capcom shows Path of the Goddess, and it is third person, hack and slash. That's my jam, but it looks very weird, and I don't know. Uh, strange. And it doesn't say when it's coming to Game Pass, just that it will be day one on Game Pass. All right, so Ford and Morsel Sports come to Game Pass October 10th. Honestly, I'm not into simulation racers. Uh, but it looks pretty cool, pretty detailed, so I'm pretty sure this excited a lot of people. The Elder Scrolls Online Necro over Shadow Wind. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it looks like uh, Redfall, <laughs> to be honest with you. The graphics uh, got that style to it, but um, at least it was gameplay. You've seen you swinging, hacking, and slashing. Um, yeah, uh, and it's coming in June, so there you have it. So August 10th, Overwatch 2 comes out with uh, new stuff. Here's what's cool. A bunch of people was trying to say they was scrapping the um, missions, like the, uh, you know, story missions. And look, what do you know? They added the story missions, and they're going to add a bunch of new stuff come August 10th. So I think that's really cool for Overwatch fans. All right, and uh, here's Persona Tactica. PST comes out 11-17. I'm sure some people are going to love this game. That's all I'm going to say. So that was a really good trailer for Starfield. It showed that it's first person and third person. I got excited to see they got melee moves and the fact that you can make it third person. Uh, it actually looked pretty good. This was a really good trailer for it. Comes out September 6th. And yeah, I think it was pretty cool. Now, I know some people are saying maybe Game of the Year contender. Not from what I've seen, but I know there's an additional showcase for it. But it did look pretty good. All right, so Jasant comes out 2023, uh, the fall, and it looks like a climbing game. But I bet you this is that type of game that's a lot of fun. Visually, it looks decent. All right, Still Wakes the Deep looked kind of interesting. They didn't show enough, but I like creepy horror stuff, and that's what it seemed like it was coming early 2024. Coming 2024, Dungeons of Hinterburg. Now, here's what's funny. Honestly, I like the gameplay. It had puzzles. I like the hack and slash. You got magic. It's just the visuals wasn't my thing. All right, so Phantom Liberty 926 looks pretty cool. Um, if you're into cyberpunk, I was never a fan of it. Never bought it. Never played it. But um, yeah, I would be more interested if it was third person. I wish they had a where you could switch it. But uh, yeah, I mean, look, you got Keanu Reeves and Idris Elba. Dope. So, City Skyline Part 2 comes out October 24th. Um, I don't want no parts of this game. Alright, this one is Metaphor Refantasia. And, man, listen. I hope somebody liked this game. I guess you uh, Persona fans. Alright, so Tower Born is coming 2024. Um, actually, it looks like some type of thing that's up my alley. Because it looks like a beat-em-up slash hack and slash. So, it doesn't look like it's a... You know, triple A bang or anything, but cool little indie game. Oh yeah, and the fact that it's multiplayer is also a plus. So Clockwork Revolution looked pretty interesting. I like how it said come in, in due time. Um I like the fact that you got powers to reverse time. That's pretty cool. So I'll have to keep my eye open for this one. So a Xbox Series S model that's $149 with a one terabyte a hard drive. I guess that's pretty cool if somebody's looking for a uh, Xbox Series S. Me personally, I always like to get whatever model I can to have the most amount of space. So kudos to them. Uh, I'm sure it's a market for it. Good stuff. All right. So I watched the whole Starfield showcase and that was pretty long, but I think it was cool. I think it was necessary. I think it really gave everybody the ideal of what type of game this is. I know a lot of people was champion for this game and a lot of people probably didn't realize this is a niche game at best. 
this is not everybody's type of game. I personally was never into Morrowind or Fallout. I uh, know this isn't my type of game at all, but it does look pretty amazing as far as if I was into this type of game. I mean, it allows you to do um, like tremendous amounts of customizations, flying to different worlds, having melee weapons, uh, projectile weapons, first person, third person, creating ships, flying in outer space, living on your ship, meeting new people. I mean, it was amazing. It probably had the coolest looking deluxe edition I've ever seen. The fact that it's a watch and it's the same watch you get in the game, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, better than anything else I've seen where you just sit it there. It's actually something you could use and hook it up to your phone. Uh, personally, I think Starfield looks amazing. I think it's a good look for Xbox. And I just hope the people who like this type of game um, will actually give Starfield a chance and that they'll fall in love with it. And hopefully it could get some people who aren't into that type of Starfield game and actually pull them into Starfield. And hopefully it's a big win for Xbox. So that was a really good way to end off the show. All right, so now is the moment that you've all been waiting for where I am going to rank the whole show from A to F. Now, I gave the Sony Showcase a D because I felt they didn't show enough gameplay and they actually let me down and didn't show factions too. I gave the Summer Game Fest a B because they showed so much gameplay and showed a bunch of different games that I actually could picture playing myself. And today I am going to rate the Xbox Showcase and I think I'm going to give it a C. Um, it definitely showed a bunch of gameplay, but a lot of the gameplay was for um, indie games. And it showed some of the bigger games like Fable, but you didn't see gameplay. Um, it showed... Um, the game I wanted to see the most, which was Hellblade, and it probably showed one of the worst scenes it could show. Who knew what even was going on? You didn't even really do nothing. You're talking to something out in the atmosphere. That was pretty terrible. But at the end of the day, it killed it at the end with Starfield. That Starfield showcase was absolutely amazing. Even though I'm not a Starfield, uh, or, uh, I'm not that type of a gamer, right? I never played those type of games, but I think it looked stunning and it actually made me intrigue to create a character and fly to a couple worlds before I call it quits. So personally, I think Xbox did a decent job. I think a C isn't bad at all. Um, you know, unfortunately they, you know, they didn't show you, uh, you know, stuff like it wasn't like a new killer instinct or it wasn't a Gears of War or it wasn't anything new for Halo, you know, some of the bigger franchises that they own, but they did show Forza, so that was pretty cool as well. So, honestly, I think a, um, I think a C isn't bad for them at all, and, uh, I think Xbox fans should be happy. They got a bunch of different games they can see that's coming, and gaming, to me, is looking pretty good. If you add together the Sony Showcase and the Summer Games and the Xbox Showcase, that's a lot of games we just seen within the span of like two weeks. And they're all coming within the next year. So it's a good time to be a gamer. And with that said, I'm the Cowboy King of Entertainment. And this stream was epic. Because I'm a cowboy. Oh, man. And now your mama knows. I'll make you famous. Because I'm a cowboy. Oh, man. And now your mama knows.